A call for reform, major social security abuses revealed. The social security program is hands down one of the most criticized and abused government programs in the history of the United States. The program was designed by President Roosevelt just over 80 years ago and it was intended to help Americans when they reach retirement. Unfortunately, the truth is it has been a political vehicle for a corrupt and greedy Congress. Even worse, a majority of Americans will have a hard time drawing benefits when they do retire. These very same American retirees are the individuals that have actually been paying into the system for their entire lives. This is unfor the unfortunate situation only further burdened by the illegal immigrants and refugees that are able to take our social security funds. Even more so today, the social security system is in desperate need of reform. President Trump ran on a platform to preserve the benefits of both social security and Medicaid, but to also change the broken parts of the program. All this considered, the recent news unveiling a scandal that is unbelievable in scope and nature is shocking Americans. The truth is, this scandal only further sheds light on the problems Social Security faces and the challenge Trump faces in fixing it. An audit found that the Social Security Administration paid over $1 billion in benefits to people that don't have Social Security numbers or people that should not be able to get benefits at all. The government's documentation of, quote, representative payees or people who receive benefits on behalf of someone else incapable of managing their affairs was evidently massively flawed. Over the last 10 years, the SSA has paid out $1 billion to 22,426 representative payees who did not have a social security number and who the SSA did not follow its policy to get a paper application form. Unless it takes corrective action, we estimate SSA will pay about $182.5 million in benefits annually to representative payees who do not have a, an, a social security number or paper application supporting their selection, the Inspector General said. As if that wasn't enough, the Inspector General found that the SSA paid $853,100 million dollars since 2004 to representative payees that had been terminated by the agency. The agency did not update the system once someone had been terminated and did not keep up with paper applications. The example above reflects the kind of abuse that has proliferated over the last eight years. Entitlement Queen Barack Obama was resistant to make the necessary cuts in our budget or to even look at where taxpayer money was appropriated for that matter. The astonishing amount of monies paid out to unwarranted beneficiaries is just proof that under the Obama administration there are almost no oversight there was almost no oversight to make sure that taxpayer dollars were appropriated correctly. It's absolutely sick that all of the hard-working Americans who actually paid into the Social Security program for decades are now denied basic benefits because of these abuses. All the while, uh, many illegal aliens and non-citizens are pocketing billions of dollars worth of support. Comment below and let your voice be heard as President Trump takes our nation in a new direction where this kind of, quote, Clinton-style scamming will not be tolerated. This is massive. Wow. This is, like, totally outrageous. Wow, that's a lot. And, and then when it comes time for the people who have paid into the system, 
not to be able to get their benefits. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.